Welcome to the chef's kitchen. Today we're making honey jerk wings and we baking them. The best jerk wings you'll ever have. Let's get it. All right, cool. So today we're gonna start off with some fresh washed chicken. And this chicken is already marinated in black pepper. It's brined in salt and it has a little chili peppers on it. So that's just, that's, that's what we got right here. You got that, that's what it looked like. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. I would lick it, but I ain't that nasty. And no, I'm just playing. <laughs> and we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of this chicken. We're gonna come back behind with some jerk seasoning. I have all the spices that I put inside this jerk seasoning. It's gonna be in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? So you get these spices. Don't be afraid. This is salt free jerk chicken. I mean, jerk seasoning. So don't be afraid to, you know, get it in there. You want to make sure that the top of your chicken is coated. As you can see right here, the top is coated. You want to make sure the top is coated right here. Just mix it all together. Get in there. You see me, I like drums wings and the wing tips it's a lot of meat inside this wing tip and flavor so when you cut up your whole chicken don't uh don't throw those out just put it in your recipe i guarantee you got people that that's coming over that's gonna eat it already have it the oven preheated to 425 we're gonna bake it until it's ready so before i put it in there to bake i'm gonna add just a sprinkle of flour just regular flour to give it a little bit of crisp on, on that chicken. And then you coat that flour up in there. Just like that. Drop the chicken, uh, drop that chicken down. All right, so while we let that cook, we're gonna create a side dish. And right now I got some charred greens. I think they're red charred greens. I'll look it up, I'll put it down in the comments and let you know. Add a little olive oil to your already heated up pan. Let that olive oil just mix it around. Greens are gonna create a, its own moisture, its own water, so you should be fine. With just that right there. You're just gonna add a little bit of salt. A little black pepper. And then we're gonna turn the heat down. A little adobo. It just makes everything taste better. For a little acid, acidity, let's go behind it with some red wine vinegar. Just a tad bit. I really cap food should should do it. it for some reason it just gives it some type of flavor that people like. So I like it too. And we'll just grab a top, slide it back to the other flame. Cover it up, let it cook down on low, low and slow. All right, so now we got that done. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up a sauce that you coat on top of the chicken and it still has some of this spice in it, but it got some other stuff in it. So we're gonna do that. Grab a saucepan, turn your flame on, let it heat up. Don't ask me why, but I like to keep my butter in the freezer. If I'm, if I'm not the only person who likes to keep their butter in the freezer, put the comments below. For some reason, I just feel like it, uh, it's just easier to keep it in the freezer. And if you think I should take it out of the freezer, let me know below. This is about a quarter, so we're gonna take about half of that. I'm gonna drop it in the saucepan. Uh, 
Uh, actually, yeah, we keep it half. Save the rest of this for something else. So uh, start it off high so the pan can get hot. Then you just turn it down low. Then you grab some peppers. This is already pretty hot. So I'm gonna wind up taking the seeds out. Real simple method, just grab a spoon. And just go on the inside just like that. And slice as thin as possible. A sharp knife will always be the best. And just drop it right in your sauce. When you have a super sharp knife, it's always best to use the back of the knife because you might get cut through a board or cut through something. So drop it to the back. Before we put the honey or the rest of the jerk seasoning, we want the butter to kind of brown. Well, that chicken smells good. And we also do it this way so the chilies can cook into the butter and the butter can become a spicy butter. It's getting there, it's getting there. It's not all the way brown, but it's getting there. Good. I'm just checking on these uh, greens. These greens looking good. Uh, they just about done. All right, so as we finish reducing this down uh, a little bit so it can be a little thick, I added a little water to it just so, you know, to take it, so it can be a little runny when I put it on the wings, but it's been about 20 minutes, so the wings should be ready to be tossed and then put back in the oven to finish off for another like five minutes. Blessed is this kitchen. Ooh, that's cute. Old Faithfuls. Right here, let me make sure this ain't. Turn that all the way down. So we come behind, just real simple. See how I just pull right off? Let me show y'all something, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. You hear that? That's cause you put the flour on there. That's that little crisp. You hear that? All right, so cool, we just gonna drop them in here. They're good by themselves just like this if you just want that jerk flavor. But for me, it ain't nothing to it. But to always add a little, you know, honey and butter on something, make it taste phenomenal. So we just grab it here, Persian. Move this out of the way. Remember the pan is still hot, so don't burn yourself. Um, and we just drop it right on there. Just come get, you wanna see this, you wanna see this? Turn it like this so y'all can see this. Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. We want all that sauce. And there we go, just like that. And then just work that around. Get that sauce on every wing. And because these wings are done. But, so we're gonna do this. Take this out, just gonna go back in, depending on how you like it, five to 10 minutes, back on, still on 425. You don't have to turn it down, like some people say, or turn it up. Just leave it 425, let it cook. This is done, still steaming, be ready. I'm gonna do some dishes and clean this up. And there you have it. And there, just cut it off, pull it out. Those wings are fresh. Nice and done. Whew. Man, that's beautiful. Mm. That's, that's stupid. And that's caramelization from the honey. Not burnt. That's good. Y'all missing out on wing tips. Anyways, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Tell me know. Let me know what you want me to cook. I can make it all. Um, thank you for watching, and until the next meal.